of this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> with me. Ugh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira, what does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Ugh. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Ugh. Benjamin was warning me all the time. But I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's where I am. Oh. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. We got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? What's that sound? Benji? What happened here? 
Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play along, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful, fantastic, ready to... wait, what? No deal, no, no. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure, I promise you know the way. Is this a new dance song? If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Nah, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? Nah, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stop it! Leave me alone! Knock, 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 Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. 
This is only the beginning. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. Your mind to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yeah. You get here. There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, did you go outside? I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to thank Benjamin. Benjamin, where are you? I couldn't get the happiness for you. What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. somewhere else because I have nothing against it but I have to talk with my mommy first mommy I'm going to go somewhere else with Bengi okay he's the fox that I like I'm a little lady you know that's what I am 
I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. Stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? Oh, Papi! I'm so happy to see you again. Wait for me, Papi! This place is really cold. <laughs> Disappear deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Boy's game is over now. Benji? Who are you? I'm a little lady, Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. What is this place? <laughs> 